uh, we're starting off season two of the We Still Weekly Roundup, the Restore Weekly Roundup. I think Chris came up with that just to trip me up. Anyway, today I'm uh, coming to see a luthier who has made a ukulele out of Restore products from the Eugene Habitat Restore. So let's take a look. My name is Eric Wickland. I am a ukulele and guitar builder here in Eugene, Oregon. Is that all that you do? No, um, that's kind of my uh, non-day job. My day job is actually funeral directing. So I'm a funeral director and an instrument builder, um, which is kind of an odd uh, couple of things to be, but that's what I am. Uh, the most recent one came from 100% Restore Materials. Uh, there was a chunk of really weathered, hard to tell what it was, wood that I found, which cut it up at home and it's this gorgeous myrtle. Um, so that turned into the back, the sides, most of the body. Uh, the top came from a piece of cedar siding that was there at the Restore, which after you cut it up, it was just gorgeous, streaky, cool colors. And then the neck and the bridge and everything else came from this big hunk of uh, walnut headboard that I then cut up into smaller pieces to use for all those parts. Yeah. So I noticed that the dots in between the frets, what mm -hmm. were those made from? Those were hex bolts that were there. And also um, the side marker dots were little bits of solder from the electrical supply stuff. Wow. Mm -hmm. And um, so do you still have this ukulele or? No, it got sold. Um, it got sold to a person in um, Milton Freewater. So it's still here in Oregon. Uh, but not not with me anymore, which I'm kind of bummed about because it was a favorite of mine to play. So how do people find your instruments that you Sure. Um, when I'm when I'm finished with them and after I've played them for enough and I figure it's time to let them go, uh, they go up for sale on my Etsy account. And there's also a Reverb account, but it's basically the same. Just uh, reposted in a different place. Um, so usually people find them there. Uh, I'll do little demo videos to put on, on YouTube. Even though sure. these are not built from the Restore, can you tell me a little bit about these guys? Sure. Um, this was the first acoustic that I made. Back in high school, I started making electric guitars because I really wanted to be able to smash one like Kurt Cobain, but I didn't have enough money to do that. I thought you were going to say Pete Townsend. <laughs> so this is my acoustic that I made for me, uh, and this is just one of the most recent baritone ukuleles that I made. Wow. And these are just, you're not like, you're not like making gut strings or anything. <laughs> no. <from> locally sourced <laughs> things, right? <laughs> I'm, I'll make everything except um, I don't harvest the bone, I don't make the strings, and I don't machine the tuners. Wow, what kind of wood is that? That's this beautiful. Is, yeah, this is mango. Wow. And the neck? Alaskan yellow cedar. Wow. Lucky enough in this part of the country we get all these fun woods to pick from and choose. Yeah, don't get a lot of that back in Wisconsin where I came from. Right, so tell me, how do you know about the ReStore? Uh, I have, uh, um, my grandpa would volunteer at the ReStore back in Racine, Wisconsin. And um, he would tell me about, for some reason, I had him taking apart things like hand drills and recycling things mostly. So he brought me down to the ReStore a couple times and it was right when I was kind of getting into wanting to build things. And there is this gorgeous, humongous set of mahogany from an old church pew that I almost bought for absolutely no reason other than it looked like I wouldn't be able to find it again. But that kind of got me interested in it. And then um, setting up my own workshop, um, you always need things like tables, which doors work wonderful for tables. And so every time I'd move from city to city, it seemed like a local restore was a first stop in order to be able to rebuild all the shop furniture that I didn't feel like moving the last time. Absolutely. Any of these things from our restore? Uh, this table is. Okay. Um, random bits and pieces to make things like jigs, like for sanding. This is a radius jig I built with restore materials. Yeah. Um, I want to say the tabletop underneath my drill press and possibly the tabletop underneath the radial arm saw are all restore materials. And then random odds and ends. I think some of the pegboard came from the restore. 
Oh, sure. We, we sell a lot of pegboard. Look at the organization in the shop. <laughs> it is truly magnificent. Any plans on doing another restore guitar or ukulele? I would love to. I'm always kind of cruising around to see if there's any interesting lumber I can snag. And I know there is some more myrtle there, or at least there was as of recently. So, so um, I know that this is not from Restore Stuff, but can you show me the neck that you're working on? All of the inlaid wood and everything. <laughs> but. And this is going to be a themed. It will be. This is going to be a Twin Peaks themed ukulele. A Twin Peaks themed ukulele. Mm -hmm. Do you like Twin Peaks? Just a little bit. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I have an arm dedicated to Twin Peaks tattoos, so. But do you like the weather better here? It's pretty awesome. Uh, it's hard to beat being able to work in the shop in the middle of winter with no heat and still being comfortable, which that's what this is for me. So that's, that's very nice. Awesome. Well, welcome to Eugene and thank you thank so you. much for all of the gorgeous work that you do. Mm -hmm.